take a soldering iron, weaken this side, come in here very carefully and weaken that side. Take a pair of needle nose. As you heat up that solder, very gently, very gently work this side loose and then work the bottom side loose. And I believe this gray line here is the negative side. So I've taken a capacitor out of a out of an old TV board, just a junk TV, and this was a good capacitor. And you can see this is the negative side, and it is a Sexton, I believe, yeah, Sexton 220 UF 16 volt which is what this is, it's a 100 UF 16 volt and I'm going with a 220 UF. So my goal is to come in here and solder just like so, boom boom, negative and positive. Got this soldered on there, it's very tedious. but it's doable. So we've taken off the old 100 UF 16 volt capacitor and we've put a 220, 220 16 volt Saxton capacitor in its place. I was concerned, I was concerned that that capacitor height would hit as this fits back in flush but as you can see, you line up these marks, it actually goes flush all the way up against the housing, top and bottom. I'll reassemble this in reverse order. Got one plug down here, these ribbon tape strips. The dash is back in. Make sure you hook up the SRS connector for the airbag. And then as a test fit, you'll plug these back in. That's for your instrument cluster and all your dash lights. And what I did is you can actually just pull this, this uh, power button switch right off of the plastic, plug it in. Same thing with your park switch. So you can at least have park and start. Foot on the brake. Batteries plugged back in. Oh dang. There went the plastic. But hey, we got dash lights again.